Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip and US ban. The United States has the world's top chip companies, but most of them are concentrated in the design field, and the manufacturing is extremely dependent on Asian manufacturing plants. And the United States has always wanted to master self-sufficiency in chips, so it brought TSMC to the United States to build factories and prohibited the purchase of chips in specific markets. However, the United States couldn't stand it anymore and amended the bill to ensure that chips can be imported from China. What are the reasons behind this? Can the United States meet chip self-sufficiency? The United States is also inseparable from the globalization of chips. A small chip is the result of globalization. Manufacturers use technology, equipment and materials from all over the world to create chips. If a country or region wants to independently produce chips, even if it has a rich industrial chain, it may not be able to produce the world's top chips. Even TSMC needs to purchase EUV lithography machines from the Netherlands and high-end photoresists from Japan. Now the United States is trying to concentrate all global resources in the United States to realize the rise of chip localization. In order to achieve this goal, the United States has specially formulated a $52 billion chip bill to attract external suppliers to build factories in the United States. For example, TSMC has planned 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip factory plans in Arizona, USA. At the equipment import ceremony in early December, Biden said excitedly that American manufacturing has returned. However, things have just begun. The United States does not allow official levels and contractors to purchase chips in specific markets, but it eventually proves that the United States is also inseparable from the globalization of chips. The cause of the incident occurred in September this year. The United States formulated an amendment to require officials and contractors to stop purchasing chips from specific companies in specific markets. Under this requirement, all walks of life in the United States will be affected and the automotive industry, aerospace, and civilian markets, etc. will not be able to obtain cost-effective chip products. The United States ignores that it is difficult to find substitutes for these chips. After all, most American chip companies are concentrated in the consumer electronics field. Chips from industries such as automobiles and the Internet of Things, the United States also needs to purchase from global sources and purchase them in specific markets. A few months have passed, and voices in the U.S. industry have begun to oppose the ban on the purchase of chips in specific markets, because they simply cannot find better chip products. It is unrealistic for American companies to carry out research again. Even if the research is done, it will be manufactured in Asian factories. Not only will it face huge costs, but it will still be inseparable from the Asian industrial chain. Instead, relax the rules. So the United States couldn't stand it anymore, and the people above revised the bill overnight to ensure that chips can be imported from specific markets. It is expected that the corresponding rules and measures will be passed within December. Facts have proved that the United States 
is also inseparable from the globalization of chips. Any market is not only a supplier, but also a consumer. The chips that need to be consumed cannot be manufactured in the United States, but can only be purchased. Although the United States has the world's leading chip companies, including Qualcomm, NVIDIA, AMD, Apple, etc., these are chip design companies. Even if Intel can participate in part of the chip manufacturing, Intel's technical strength is not the world's leading, and some chips still need to find TSMC to cooperate with the foundry. That being the case, the United States should be more aware of the importance of chip globalization and frequent adjustments to shipping rules will not benefit itself or the global market. Can the United States meet chip self-sufficiency? Perhaps many people are curious. The US chip industry is developing well. Just control the chip design and leave the manufacturing to the Asian industrial chain. Why should the United States change the development trend of chip globalization? And why should it set the goal of chip localization? Or? Perhaps the United States has begun to realize the importance of manufacturing. At its peak, the United States produced more than 40% of the world's chips, and American chip manufacturing giants such as Intel, Texas Instruments, and Global Foundries led an era. But now American chips only account for 12% of the world's total production capacity and most of them are relatively common technology products. The truly high-end and advanced chips are concentrated in Asian factories. When a chip shortage storm swept the world, most industries in the United States faced the situation of no chips available. Automakers piled up a large number of cars in the parking lot, waiting to install chips. The delivery period of smartphone chip suppliers has been extended to more than half a year, and the supply of graphics cards is in short supply. Therefore, the United States has become more determined in its goal of chip localization, and this has led to a series of actions. But can the United States satisfy chip self-sufficiency? I'm afraid it won't be that easy. If the United States has been maintaining the development of the chip industry chain, there may be a chance to build a complete industry chain. However, the US chip manufacturing industry has been silent for decades, and a large number of talents and resources have been lost. If you want to gather a complete industrial chain in a short period of time, you need not only a huge amount of investment, but also a long time. Maybe five years, maybe ten years, maybe longer. Apart from other things, just the amount of investment, if the United States is to achieve self-sufficiency in chips, it needs at least one trillion US dollars in investment. This money cannot be borne out of thin air, and foreign companies will not spend so much money to invest in a market. Therefore, the United States has no better choice than to maintain the development of globalization. The United States is also a chip consumer and should understand what the consumer market needs. How important is globalization that happens when the United States cannot buy chips itself? In general, I still hope that the United States can turn around and not go too far on the wrong path. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.